This is a work capacity session, so we've got a set amount of rounds and repetitions to complete. Now the aim is obviously to work through um, as quickly as you can, but still maintaining good form. So we've got round one here, and then there'll be round 20, the final round which will follow. So it's a three exercise circuit. First one being Navy Seal burpees, um, one of my favorite uh, burpee variations. You've got three press ups within it. Um, it's heavy on the time under tension as you've got the knees in. Next exercise, squats. So we've gone from um, an upper body exercise with the Navy Seal, so all the blood's rushing to that area. We now have to work hard um, to get the blood down to the lower body to complete our squats. Moving on to the last of the three exercises, which is pull-ups. Five repetitions of these, fully extending, chin above the bar. Round 20. So fatigue's obviously kicked in massively now. A great deal of oxygen debt. Plenty more recovery required between the Navy Seals, but we keep the form uh, as clean as possible. So we must get the um, full range of motion least having the upper arms parallel with the floor on the press-ups. Knees want to come up towards the elbows and then fully extend. This is a great combination of exercises. Um, you've got the Navy Seal, burpees, the squats and the pull-ups so it hits the whole body. Uh, I've been doing this um, using these exercises in different configurations but still the same premise of uh, 100 pull-ups, 200 squats, and 300 press-ups, which comes from the 100 Navy SEALs. I've been doing that um, every burpee heavy workout, so it's either could be a pyramid or um, a strength endurance session, so you might work through 20 SEALs, um, but either way, you stick to those numbers. There's also different ways you could scale it, so if the exercises are too strenuous, you could maybe do one pump burpees, you could do ring rows or bar rows instead of the pull-ups and uh, partial range of motion squats, for example. 